My name is Bill and I'm an alcoholic. And this show is called Magnets. We will not be inspired at all times and recovery from alcoholism is not for the faint-hearted. Stopping drinking is a lifestyle choice. It is a career. Wanting to stop and deciding to stop are not the same. I wanted to stop many times, but I decided to stop the day I called AA. Magnets have an invisible power within them. They push and they pull. They attract and they repel. In the world around us, some people have such a strong spiritual pull that you love them immediately. And that was my introduction to Alcoholics Anonymous. There was something almost hypnotic, invisible, and comforting in meeting a member of AA for the first time. There was an invisible pull from somewhere. I somehow felt drawn towards them. And since that day, I haven't taken a drink. In step two, we talk about a power greater than us. And I remember feeling this strange invisible power on the day I called AA. Today, I know it occurs when two alcoholics meet. And to keep that power, I must find another alcoholic to pass it on to. And so, in one unbroken line, the rhythm of sobriety has been passed down from our co-founders 85 years ago to the meetings I sit in today. Magnets only do two things. They either push or they pull. And that's the same with alcoholism. But I'm drawn to recovery and the 12 steps or my alcoholism is pushing me away. The power that I find in the rooms must always be stronger than the power of my alcoholism. And to keep that power, I help others work a program and seek a higher power. And in a nutshell, that's how I've recovered. So I go to meetings, seek the power I need for another 24 hours in sobriety. Where resentments and fear pull me in one direction and acceptance and willingness in the other. Confrontation and sensitivity have an invisible power, the same as letting go and handing over. One gives life and one takes life away. I'm continuously being pulled one way by the gifts of sobriety, whilst my alcoholism is being pulled in the other direction. It's a battle of the wills, my will versus the will of my higher power. So next time I'm angry or upset, when the hounds of fate visit and demand answers, I know I have a choice. I can be pulled, pulled back towards a drink or do the simplest of these things that has undoubtedly saved my life many times. I can go to a meeting, call another alcoholic, or seek through prayer and meditation what my higher powers will is for me. It's really quite easy peasy when you know how. Build the shirt, Bristol.